One of the most important things in a self-sustaining farm and living sustainably is conserving water. And a lot of people waste water, all of us waste water where we don't need to. So we're constantly trying to reassess how we use water. So I picked a, bun a bunch of kale this morning. Oh, there's a little green worm on there. This is a perfect example why this is better. Instead of running the vegetables under running water and just letting it go down the drain, we have these little bins in all of our sinks. And I'll put a little bit of water on it, just enough to cover the vegetables. I just kind of get them in there and that's enough. That's a lot less water than rinsing each leaf under the faucet. The good thing about letting it, then I just let it soak for a minute. What's great about that, any worms or bugs that you have on your lettuces will crawl up to the top. And then of course I take those and feed them to the chickens. So you save water, you actually get rid of pests more easily. See this guy, he's already crawling to the top. So our chickens now have two additional protein treats. Um, Nothing gets wasted here at Brentwood Urban Farm. There's a little green inchworm and a small little black beetle that they will fight over in addition to our cooked eggshells and um, strawberry tops, slightly too mushy blueberries and the stems from our salad last night. The chickens eat the things that we don't eat and um, now these bugs will become part of the circle of life. So now that the kale has been sitting for a little while in the water and all of our bugs have risen to the surface, I'm just swishing it around in the water to rinse it. Might give it just one more quick little rinse here. Shake off all that water. Goes in the colander. And now this water will go back out to the garden. This is the water I use to wash off the vegetables. Because there's no soap in it, I can put it right back into the vegetable garden. It won't damage the plants and obviously won't damage me. So I'm gonna water the carrots. And they're so happy. So the evolution of our water, rinsed vegetables, came out and washed vegetables. We washed dishes and we fed our olive tree. And we use tiny amount of the water we would have used to, to do just one of those things and we've gotten two uses out of the water. One of the things we're continually refining in our quest to conserve water is the art of doing dishes. We're constantly trying to find a way to use less and less water. 